while I'm having a bit of a huff and a puff. You go to all those measures to stop a cat digging up your veg, and then this happens. So that's my Nantes carrots, which have come up lovely. And then in here, well, you can guess. Shame. Well, get over it, Malcolm. It's a beautiful day. In fact, it's scorching in here. It's 20 degrees out there. And it's 33 degrees in here. So, I think I'll get on with this bed. So I'm gonna clear this. Pretty much there now. I'll get the lettuce out and the beetroot out. I think I'll move the leeks and got a bit of basil there. I'll move that over here. And then I'm just gonna give that bed a once over. It's got a few weeds. There's a little bit of that cooch grass in there. So I'm gonna get rid of that and get this wooden slat out and then just turn the surface over. I'm not gonna dig it. And then it'll be ready for putting some lettuce in. So I'll get that done and we'll take a look at the lettuce. Okay, well that didn't take me very long. What have we got here? So this is a tray of Paris Island Cos. And I tried all these smaller little gem style lettuce this year to see if I could just keep smaller lettuce going in here, not taking up quite so much room in the polytunnel. And hopefully they won't bolt too quickly, but I've got all that to learn. This one's called Veilan Winter Gem. So that's a tray of those. And then this one, which looks a bit larger, is called, oh, that's Paris Island Cos 2. So I think I've just got two varieties, which is fine. What's this one? Yep, lots of Paris Island. So I'm going to get these quite close together and then I'm going to work on the basis of seeing if I can just crop lower leaves to eat. That's quite nice, sweet. That's the Valen Winter Gem, just as a way of comparison. This is the Paris Island Cos. Mmm, a bit more nutty. Tasty though, both good. So, I think we'll have a block of one and a block of the other. And I'm going to keep them under this bench because I found the ones further down in the bright sunshine tended to bolt a bit quicker. This little bit of shade serves them well. So I'm thinking probably five or six inches apart. So let's get on and give them a bit of a plant. Now these polystyrene trays I've had for a long time and it can be a bit of a pain. You can see the root growth under here is enormous. I'm just gonna pull that excess root growth off because it'll make it difficult to get them out. And the idea is you just poke them out and there you are, perfect. I'm going to take the lower leaves away, anything that's a little bit ropey, and then plant them up. That's a leaf that's been chewed by a slug. And they're a perfect plant then. So I'll work my way from top, I think down to the bottom of the bench. I messed up a bit there because there was actually a third variety but I had one tray with two trays connected and the second tray had this additional variety in which is little gem cos so the traditional one and I broke one off so I'll give it to the chickens but it's actually a bit tougher than the other two very interesting but Good flavour. So they're a success. And now I'm going to get these last beetroot in because I always grow some beetroot in the tunnel. They come on that quicker than outside. I need to leave 
a space or two down here because that's where the cucumber is going to go but we'll get these in so these were in the traditional root trainers and there's about four or five in each so I'll get a couple of rows of those in here now and this soil is so soft you don't need a spade or anything to plant I'll just keep it fairly far away from the lettuce because when these get going they do really spread especially in the polytunnel so let's get that one in and they're very bushy plants and there's they're all singles so it shouldn't take me long to get those done well there's something rather satisfying about rows of beetroot and lettuce and these have gone in nicely we'll give them a little bit of a water but i could keep on top of the watering of these now because certainly down the far end it's very dry so a few more cans good times well the plants are wet now and after half an hour in here i'm ringing wet too it's certainly picking up in temperatures so there we are that's looking good very pleased with that I've watered everything now and most of this can be watered from below as you've seen and I've been round all of the strawberries and we've got one here which won't be long before we're eating it. Good times. Is so much better and that took me a fair old time I have to confess but it was all about mare's tail the mare's tail it was a nightmare and hopefully I've knocked it back quite a lot I mean it surely will come back but that certainly got on top of it and this other bed I'm gonna take the leaks out in the next few days and then I'll be able to really go at that and get the weed out of this bed too so i have put something over my carrots now hopefully it will protect it against the cats so they'll be fine there's quite a lot of carrots very close together there and when they get a little bit larger i will spread them out and i have managed to successfully move them in the past so i don't think there'll be too much of a problem well it's been a warm afternoon. It's certainly been enjoyable, if not a bit tough, but that's what gardening's about. But notice this morning, how much the blossom has come out on this apple tree. It looks glorious. And hopefully that's a sign that we'll get a lot of fruit. We'll have to wait and see. There's certainly a lot of berries. The black currants, not quite so much, but these red currants, just plastered in berries already so i think we're heading for another good season of berries i hope so we do get quite a lot of snails amongst these and we'll deal with them well, mrs k has been working extremely hard and she's completely weeded the flower bed planted them as embryanthemums and a few other plants she's divided the dahlia that we've had in this bed so there's a piece down here and then the main plant is in the middle here but the bed is really coming together now and it's going to look fantastic once it all starts to flower and now that she's done that it's put a bit of pressure on me to get these beds sorted out so i think they're coming soon right i'm just going to work my way through these beds now and get this mare's tail out best I can get down as deep as I can try not to disturb the plants that are in here because I have got quite a lot of self-sown or self-seeded calendula and it looks like quite a lot of poppies as well so I'm going to leave those in here I don't mind having poppies in amongst this but it's this mare's tail which is the biggest problem and it 
really goes down so deep. I haven't got a hope in hell of getting it out completely, but I'm certainly gonna give it a headache. Okay, I'll carry on. So it's quite hard getting into this bed and getting the weeds out because there's so much self-sown. And then I'm gonna sew on top of that. So I've tried to use this pointed little trowel just to break up the surface wherever I can't see self-sown seedlings. And then I'm gonna sew into here with the seed that I saved into envelopes at the end of last year. And this will all be calendula. And from this, we make calendula balm and calendula body cream. And they were really successful last year. And we gave some away as Christmas presents and some people even wanted to buy it, which was fantastic. So I'm gonna grow that in here again. They really are so easy to sow. And a collection last year of seed produced so many, literally thousands. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it, sort of broadcast sowing and then I'll give it a good watering in and that'll do the job nicely. There's so many seeds here that I'm absolutely positive it'll fill the bed with flowers and we should get another good crop. Right, bit of watering in and then that'll be done. There are literally thousands in there. I've got two or three more packets as well. So I'll get the wire back over the top of this because we can water through it easily enough. And this just stops the cat from using it as a litter tray. On to the next bed. probably only get a couple of these done. But it's like anything, when you get on a roll, you seem to be getting on quite quickly. So I'm just gonna get into this poppy bed. And the same thing applies. There's lots of self-sown poppies here. And I'm only really wanting to get out this mare's tail, which is a real pain. And then I should just break up the surface and re-sow again straight into it with some poppy seed that I saved from last year. So every bed's pretty much the same. The one I've just done, I haven't got a plan for, so I've got to think about that. We've got some thistles in this fella, which are also difficult to get. You get a root out, but to be honest with you, it's very hard to get the whole root out. Well, this bed's full of sweet williams as identified by my viewers. And I didn't put these in here, so I'm a bit puzzled, but hey, they're attractive. And this bed's no different, except for the fact that with these plants in, I'm just gonna pick the tops off of the mare's tail, really just in the interest of preserving the plants and the flowers, so. I don't know what's gonna go in here altogether, but I have got some cosmos, which is what I intended to grow in here, and I'll plant those in wherever I can. We're getting a real mixed bed now. We've got some poppies in this one, just shows how the poppies spread. And we've got quite a lot of self-sown forget-me-nots, which to be honest, are pretty, but are also a bit of a pain because they get everywhere, including into the vegetable beds. So. I'm gonna get those out as well as I go. And I'll bring you back when I've got all the weeds out and we'll get this cosmos in. Well, I think that's the best I can do. And I'm gonna get these few plants I've got here into the soil and they can get underneath this wire as well. I've got four in total, which is not a huge number to be honest but that's all I've got and this soil has got quite hard so I need to break it up to get these in 
I'll put a couple the other side. So these Sweet Williams are actually quite attractive once they start to come out. I was never a big fan of them, but I'm certainly not going to dig them out. There's one more to go. And there we are. That's that bed done. So that just leaves me to plant or sow the cosmos from last year, saved seed, into this bed. Let's see if I can increase what I've got in here. And the thing about saving seed like this is that you just get so many, you can be pretty blase about it, to be honest. There we go. And I'll water those in. My label says Cosmos 2020 Saved Seed. All right, all the beds need a quick water and then they're done. Well, the strimmers are out, so I'm nearly finished on this video, but I am going to get this gooseberry stood back up. There we go. And we'll get him around that stake like so. He was already starting to grow up it. Just reaching for the sun, but we'll give him a hand. I'm going to put a little cable tie on here just to keep it in place in case it gets windy. A bit fiddly, but I don't want a giant one. There we are, and that should keep him in place, give him a better chance. I will put a little bit of soil around the roots because it's certainly swayed to and fro in that wind, and some of the roots are bare. So we'll get that sorted, and we're all done. If anybody's thinking, should you put broad beans straight into the ground or should you sow them and plant them out? These were sown into the ground, oh, about a month or so ago. And they're looking absolutely fantastic. These down here were sown in the polytunnel some weeks before that. And yeah, they're taller, they've got flowers on, but nothing like as healthy. So there's a bit of lesson there for me. I'm not sure that growing broad beans in the polytunnel earlier on is really a great advantage. Not based on the look of those plants anyway. Well, that's me done for today. Hope you're having a great weekend. I'll see you soon. I do hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, click the subscribe button, click the like button. And if you want updates from me each time I upload a video, Click the bell and select all. I do hope you have a great day. Diochen Val.